food is little enough for many people. One time, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam looked weak because he was hungry. Abu Talha, who heard about it, finally met his wife. Abu Talha and his wife intended to invite him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to eat. Long story short, Abu Talha and his wife only had a little food. However, it turned out that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam invited many friends to join him for a meal at Abu Talha's house. Abu Talha became worried, a little food is enough to entertain so many guests. Finally, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his friends arrived at Abu Talha's house. Before the meal started, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sallallahu prayed for the food that was served. After that, the guests were asked to eat in turn. The first to eat are ten friends. Then, the next ten friends, then the next ten friends, and so on. In the end all the friends who came ate until they were full, even though there were seventy or eighty of them at that time. After that, then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Tholha's family ate until they were full, hadith history of Bukhari and Muslim. 6. The Messenger of Allah had a more powerful mira for CLE than Prophet ISA who revived a corpse with Allah's permission. His life is a stone to glorify in his noble hand. Of course his life is greater than the gravel life of the return of humans who have just died. The story of his life gravel is mentioned in the following hadith. From Abu Dzar Ra said, Verily I saw the Messenger of Allah in a halaka, in his hand there is a pebble, then the pebble glorifies in the palm of his hand. With us were Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman and Ali, may Allah have mercy on all of them. So the people who were in the halaka all heard the tasbih of the stones, the brani hadith history. The life of the tree to respond to his orders. It is told that one day the messenger of Allah ordered a tree to dock with another tree so that it became a satyr for him who was fulfilling his purpose. This is also greater than just the life of a human who just died. This story is narrated in the following hadith. From Jabir, he said, we went out with the Messenger of Allah on a long journey. Rasulullah when he was about to relieve himself, he stayed away so no one saw him. Then we arrived at a place in a large area of land that had no hills or trees, so he said to me, O oh Jabir, take a water bag and go with me. Then I filled the bag with water and we left until we were not seen. It turned out that there were two trees several cubits apart, so ran to him and rubbed his hands on him, hadith narrated by Bukhari. The cries of the palm fronds were heard by all the friends who were present at the mosque when the Friday sermon took place. According to their testimony, his cry was like the sound of a camel about to give birth. It is stated in the hadith. We heard a sound from the log, like the sound of a camel that was about to give birth, then the Prophet came to him and then placed his hand on the log until finally the log fell silent, hadith narrated by Bukhari. As for reviving the dead, it did not happen at the hands of the Prophet Muhammad himself but instead happened at the hands of one of his people as narrated by Imam Bihaqi as follows. From Abi Sabra, he said, a man from Yemen was traveling when he reached a road, his Heimer died. Then he got up, made ablution and prayed two cycles of prayer and prayed, O oh Allah, I came from Datsaniya in order to wage jihad in your path and seek your pleasure. I testify that you can revive the dead and raise people from their graves. Do not make my situation a gift to my enemies today, I beg you to revive my Heimer. Then the Heimer rose again and moved his ears, by Haki Hadith narrated in Dalai al-Nibuwa.